Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. As you enjoy your class storyline and explore the galaxy, you may want to capture some of your special moments on camera, either by taking a picture or video of your character. There's a couple different ways to take a picture in Sator, better known as a screenshot. The easiest is simply to press print screen on your keyboard. It's a button that's usually located somewhere above your arrow keys, beside the F12 key. When you press it, Sutter will save a picture of whatever you are currently seeing on the screen in-game. It will save it as a file, which you can usually find in your computer, in My Documents, in the Star Wars The Old Republic folder. Keep in mind this can sometimes fail, especially in cutscenes. You might press print screen, but the screenshot won't get saved. There's two easy ways to get around this. If you have Windows 10, try pressing the Windows key. It looks like a little Windows symbol on your keyboard, near the caps lock key on the left the Windows key and the print screen key at the same time. This works pretty reliably, and save a screenshot in your pictures folder in a screenshots file. If you aren't using Windows 10, there's a lot of different screenshot taking software out there. The one I found works most reliably in Sotor is called Fraps. Just search online for F-R-A-P-S. Once you've taken a screenshot, if you want to show it to a friend online, you'll need to upload it to the internet. If you have just one screenshot to share, I suggest uploading it to imager.com imgur.com. That way you can get a link to your image and you can share it with others. If you have a lot of images you've taken over time, or you want to make a gallery, I suggest using Tumblr, t-u-m-b-l-r.com. It's a site for blogging, but it's incredibly easy to use to upload screenshots of your journey. You can visit mine at sia, s-u-i-a.tumblr.com for a great example. You can even choose the layout of your screenshot blog and the layout of your screenshots. If you're taking a screenshot of your character's outfit, you can share it with other fashion enthusiasts at tor, T-O-R, fashion.com. You could also share them on Twitter with a short caption. Uploading images is pretty easy to do once you have an account. Make sure to add hashtag Sator in the description so other players can find them. If you want to capture your adventures as they happen, you can also take videos in-game. If you have Windows 10, the easiest way to do this is to press the Windows key, the Alt key, and the R key at the same time. This will start recording with the Windows game bar. To stop recording, press Windows Alt R again. The video should be saved in your videos folder, in a captures folder. If you have a good NVIDIA graphics card, you might also have access to Shadowplay recording, which works similarly. Another great alternative is called OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. It's a bit more difficult to set up, but works really well once you get it working, and it's free. The easiest place to upload your videos is YouTube.com. If you're finding your videos are a really large file size, you can try downloading a free program called Handbrake. It lets you easily compress your videos. If you want to get into video editing, my favorite simple video editor is called Filmora. It only costs $30 a year, or $50 for life if you like it. It's what I use to make the Academy videos based on this segment. If you're working with audio from in-game, don't forget to download the free, very powerful Audacity tool, A-U-D-I-C-I-T-Y, Audacity. In both cases, especially for screenshots, turn up your graphics as far as they can go. You can sometimes turn your graphics up higher than you could normally if you're just standing still and taking a picture. You could turn off the UI, the menu, the map, the chat, by pressing Alt Z, Alt key and Z key. If you're taking pictures of landscape, make sure to turn nameplates off for a cleaner look. If you want to take a picture of your friend or an NPC, make sure to not hover over them while you're doing it, otherwise they might be highlighted strangely in the screenshot. Lighting is key for screenshots. Try spinning your character in a circle until you find which way the light is coming from and face your character towards it. Different planets have different lighting. If you want to take screenshots of your armor or character, I suggest Alderaan, Makeb, or Tatooine for their bright and natural lighting. If you want to take a picture of something glowy or bright, I suggest heading to Ilum or Imperial Terrace to really let it shine in the dark. There are thousands of unique moments in Star Wars The Old Republic, and how you capture and share them is up to you. If you want to show your support for this series, or to get notified when the next episode of The Academy comes out, subscribe to this channel.